Hello guys, welcome back to Sophie's Loom Teak. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make this intermediate level bracelet, which is the triple fishtail bracelet. It does take quite some time, but, oh, and it also takes a bunch of C-clips, like it takes three C-clips. It also does take a little of time, so, but it'll be worth it in the end. You will need some rubber bands. If you're doing rainbow, you might need three rainbows. You'll need a crochet hook, three C-clips, and a rainbow loom. So let's get started. Um, you need to take the big base off and leave it in the stagger configuration. So take it with your base removal or with your finger, it doesn't matter. And then you can take off the, the right pin bar. So you only have two, or you could just leave it on and ignore it. But for me, it's better to leave two on. So we're gonna get started with the process. So first I'm gonna grab my color of my first um, fishtail pattern. So we're gonna do it on the top and we're gonna do a cross like a figure eight like we do for a fishtail. And then another figure eight on the bottom one and then another figure eight on the bottom one too. Okay, and now we're gonna grab our white color. So like the frilly color. And we are, got, for me, in this case, it's black. So I'm gonna grab the black here. Then I'm gonna place it on these three pin bars here. Because without that rubber band, all of the three fishtails would be separated. So it's important to do that. Next, we're gonna grab our next color, which for me in this case is jelly turquoise, and we're gonna put it on the loom without crossing it on the three pin, I mean on the six pins like this. And then we're gonna grab another black band, in my case, and we're gonna put it on those three pin bars like that. And then we are going to do it we're gonna do our other color and put it on without doing a cross. Just put it on normally. And then you're gonna push it down and you're gonna add another um, straight band on the three pin bars. So you should have three black bands. I'm gonna turn my loom like this so you guys could see. And we're gonna pull the bottom one over all the three pin bars like this because it's gonna connect all of our three fish tails. Next off, we're gonna loop the easier side. So we're just gonna loop this like a fish tail. So you're gonna loop the cross over like you would for a fish tail. So loop the bottom one over the top one like this. I just zoomed in so you guys could see a little better. And then this part is a little trickier, but we're not gonna go from the outside. We're gonna go from the inside. We're gonna go inside of the black bands and grab the bottom one and pull it over. The black horizontal, it's not horizontal, but the straight band. And that end, like the third, like the top one, it should, it could be a little tight. In this case, for me, it was tight, but it doesn't matter. It's gonna look um, normal afterward when you take the bracelet off of the loom. So now we're gonna do the process again. So we're gonna grab our next color. For me, it's turquoise jelly. We're not gonna cross it and we're just gonna put it on our six pin bars like this. Then you're gonna grab a black band that connects everything put together and we're gonna put it on and pull our bottom black band over those. And then loop it like a fishtail. So loop the bottom one over like you would for a normal fishtail, like this. And then go inside of the black bands and loop it over again. So just keep on doing this process. I'll show you how to do this a few more times. So you can see your triple fish tail starts forming. Now we're gonna do this again. So we're gonna grab our next color red for me and we're not gonna put it crossing we're just gonna put it on the six pin bars and then once again we're gonna grab our black rubber band and put it all over the three pins in this 
border and then we're gonna pull our bottom black band over so it connects all of the three fishtails together and then keep on doing that until you reach your desired length. have two black bands on those outer three pins so you're gonna grab the top black band and it shouldn't be attached to anything so you're just gonna pull it off of your loom like this it shouldn't be attached and then just set it aside nope we're not gonna use that black band again now that black band the bottom one you can't pull it off so you're just gonna pull it on top of all of those so there should be no black bands now. And now we're just gonna loop our bottom bands, like a single chain, over our top ones. It's just really easy. You just pull the bottom bands over and that's it. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and put those bands on that other pin, like this, so it's easier to close off our bracelet. So we just put our bands on that other pin to that side, the opposite side. So in this case, it's my right. So it should look like this now. And now we're gonna start closing it off. We already closed it off basically, but we have to attach our C-clips onto it. So no, you do not stick your hook through there. I just made a little mistake. So I just cut that. Part. I just cut that part out because you don't do that. So you're just gonna pull the bottom band over the top one. You don't have to do this. It's just making a slit knot. If you don't want to do the slit knot because your bracelet is already perfect, then um, just attach your C-clip onto there and you're good. But if your bracelet is a little tight on you, then just um, do the slit knot and now put all the three slit knots on your hook. And now you can take it off and attach your C-clips onto there. You can undo the slit knot like I did and then put our C-clips on there. I fast forwarded because again, I didn't want the video to be too long, so. I was just attaching my C-clips onto the blue side and then I was attaching it onto the beginning red side. So, just did that. Now we have our finished product. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys.